didn't hear it. My dad just came out, came through. I'll tell you exactly how it happened. We were in Wales, and um, my microphone was broken or something. I was waiting to record something else. Chris Martin is an English singer, record producer, philanthropist, multi-instrumentalist, songwriter, pianist, musician, actor, film score composer, and guitarist. He's most widely recognized as the lead singer of the band Coldplay. With more than $100 million in record sales, Coldplay is one of the best-selling bands in the world. The band has also won seven Grammy Awards and nine Brit Awards. The members of Coldplay rose to fame in 2000 when they released the song Yellow. The band has won four Echo Awards, three Juno Awards, and eight MTV Europe Awards. In 2017, DeBrat listed Martin among the most influential people in the UK. It's on our first record, which is... Uh, okay. And uh, I was waiting to do that. And then I was found this chord, because I like to use strange tunings on the guitar. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Christopher Anthony John Martin, but is also known as Chris and Sticky Martinez. He was born March 2nd, 1977 in Exeter, Devon, England, making him 44 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.86 meters or 6 feet 1 inches tall. Chris was named the world's sexiest vegetarian by PETA in 2005, but he abandoned his vegetarian lifestyle after splitting with Paltrow. Martin has undergone sleep therapy for insomnia and has said that when he manages to get some sleep, he often has nightmares about his band. Martin is passionate about philanthropic causes, supporting the Love Button Movement, Amnesty International, Mercy Corps, and many other charitable organizations. Since 2000, Coldplay has donated 10% of its earnings to charity, and the band has performed at charity concerts and promoted humanitarian groups Chris is a vocal supporter of the fair trade movement that has traveled with Oxfam to Mexico, Haiti, and Ghana to meet with farmers about the subject. Since 2015, Martin has been the creative director of the Global Citizen Festival, which is committed to ending extreme global poverty. In 2012, Chris performed at the 121212 concert, a Hurricane Sandy fundraiser. And in 2014, he recorded a new version of Do They Know It's Christmas for Band Aid 30 with Bono, One Direction, Sinead O'Connor, and many others. Chris married actress Gwyneth Paltrow on December 5, 2003. They welcomed daughter Apple in May 2004 and son Moses in April 2006. Paltrow met Martin at a Coldplay concert shortly after the death of her father Bruce in 2002, and Chris helped her deal with her grief. The experience inspired Chris to write the song Fix You for Gwyneth, and he also wrote Swallowed in the Sea and Moses for her. In March 2014, Paul Cho and Martin announced that they were consciously uncoupling after 10 years of marriage, and the divorce was finalized in July 2016. Martin dated actress Jennifer Lawrence from 2014 to 2015, and he began a relationship with actress Dakota Johnson in October 2017. With, with, we were trying in this thing as a band, and it just did. I, was, I saw it back, and I was like, that just didn't work at all. Oh, then yeah. then a, a week ago, so I, we played the Pony by Genuine. Chris is the eldest of five children, and his mother Allison is a music teacher, and his father Anthony is a retired accountant. The Martin family owned a motorhome and caravan retail business until his father sold it in 1999. Chris's paternal grandfather, a high sheriff who served as mayor of Exeter in 1968 started the business in 1929. Martin attended the Helton School and the Exeter Cathedral School, where he played cricket and formed a band called the Rockin' Honkies. He graduated from Sherborne School in Dorset, which is where he met Phil Harvey, who'd later become Coldplay's manager. Chris met future Coldplay bandmates Johnny Buckland, Will Champion, and Guy Berryman at University College London, where he earned a degree in Ancient World Studies, receiving first-class honors in Greek and Latin. Martin, Buckland, Champion, and Berryman formed Coldplay, originally known as Pectorals, then Starfish, in 1996. They released their first album, Parachutes, in 2000, and it featured the single Yellow, which debuted at number four on the UK music charts. The band released seven more albums between 2002 and 2019, including A Rush of Blood to the Head and Viva La Vida, or Death and All His Friends. 
Chris also pursued a solo career, collaborating with artists such as Jay-Z, Nelly Furtado, and Kanye West. With Coldplay, Martin has won many awards, including seven Grammys, seven Billboard Music Awards, nine Brit Awards, six MTV Video Music Awards, and three World Music Awards. The band's hits include Viva La Vida, Fix You, The Scientist, and Clocks. In 2016, Coldplay performed at the Super Bowl 50 halftime show, bringing on special guests Beyonce and Bruno Mars. The performance was ranked number 13 on Rolling Stone Magazine's 2020 list of the best Super Bowl halftime shows. Martin has played himself in several movies and TV shows, including Bruno, Shaun of the Dead, in which he also played a zombie, Extras, Modern Family, Curb Your Enthusiasm, and The Simpsons. He's also appeared on Saturday Night Live seven times with Coldplay in 2001, 2005, 2008, 2011, 2014, and 2019, and as a solo performer in 2020 on the show's first Saturday Night Live at Home episode. Martin also appeared in 2012's Coldplay Live 2012, which documented the band's Milo Zylato tour, and 2018's Coldplay A Head Full of Dreams, a documentary about the band's history. Both films received a single-day theatrical release before being made available on DVD, premium cable, or streaming services. Preaching this from the beginning. And that's how we feel about humans, too. So it's, yeah. So us playing Pony, to us, just seems like the most natural way of showing that we like all people. He earns money through album sales, live concerts, and royalties. Despite being the band's primary songwriter, Chris has chosen to split all copyright credits with his bandmates evenly. This decision has effectively earned his bandmates tens of millions in royalties they otherwise would not have received. In 2002, Chris earned $23 million from Coldplay's A Rush of Blood to the Head album, which sold more than 19 million copies across the globe. The next year, this singer made $9.8 million from the album Coldplay Live. In 2005, Chris made $15.5 million from the album X and Y. He earned more than $12 million in 2008 from various albums. Coldplay released the album Milo Zylero in 2011, and Chris earned $9.5 million from this album. He has a net worth of $130 million. In 2014, Martin and Paltrow paid $14 million for their Malibu estate. They also owned a Tribeca penthouse, which they bought for $5.1 million in 2007, as well as homes in London, Brentwood, and the Hamptons. Chris sold his Mandeville Canyon home for $12 million in 2016. He purchased the 7,700-square-foot house for $6.75 million in 2013. In 2018, he bought his 6.5-acre property, which houses the 99-seat Malibu Playhouse, for $4.45 million, and a 3,000-square-foot Malibu Park Ranch House for $3.7 million. Martin also paid $5.48 million for a Malibu Beach House in 2019. In July 2020, Chris listed the Malibu Playhouse property for just under $5.5 million. In 2020, Chris Martin and Dakota Johnson bought a stunning new home in Malibu boasting scenic views of the ocean for $9 million. The modern Cape Cod-style estate sits on Point Doom in Malibu and has six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and 5,338 square feet of space. There's a home cinema, office, a two-story detached guest house with game room, living room, bedroom and bathroom, a pool with a spa and a three-car garage. There are multiple indoor and outdoor fireplaces and high vaulted ceilings creating a lofty, spacious feel. He owns the following cars, an Audi Q7, a Jeep Wrangler, an Audi A8, a BMW X5, 
a Range Rover Sport, a Porsche Cayenne.